The arrival of F-35A to India was an informal sales pitch made by the US administration, and it has been learned that some level of talks on the sale of F-35 did take place, though the details have not been made public. The US fears that the Indian S-400 system will collect sensitive data from the F-35A, and later transmit it to Russia, that will improve the search and track capabilities of S-400 against stealth fighter jets. The sale of the F-35 to India will not be affected, if India can implement some standard protocol. The US is keen to have more F-35 operators around China, so that there is high commonality for air operations in the event of any intervention. The RDO's aeronautical development establishment is planning to hold more tests of the indigenous technology cruise missile for its complete range of 1,500 km, to demonstrate missile capabilities before the technological demonstrator program is officially closed for the development of long-range land attack cruise missile. The LRLACM program will require nearly 20 developmental flights before it is cleared for production, with a target production run of 200 units. The LRLACM program will initially be developed for the Navy, and it can be fired from the Universal Vertical Launcher module developed for the BrahMos cruise missile, which are already available on 30 frontline warships, and later air-launched variant and submarine-launched variant will also be developed. Rolls-Royce has offered to build a jet engine entirely from scratch to India, as building the engine on the existing EJ-200 will not allow intellectual property rights to be owned by India, as the EJ-200 was developed by four companies under the Eurojet Turbo Consortium. Rolls-Royce has offered clean slate design to India, as it doesn't want other manufacturers of the consortium to be part of the program. A second offer has also been made by UK's BA Systems and Rolls-Royce, which invites India to become a partner country in the Global Combat Air Programme, under which UK plans to develop a sixth-generation fighter in cooperation with Italy and Japan, and India will get access to the next-generation engine, that can later be used for its AMCA programme. Times of India has reported that Hindustan Aeronautics was scheduled to start deliveries of Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets from February 2024, and now it might be delayed until the end of 2024, because of numerous key changes in Tejas Mark 1A, as these equipment changes necessitate extensive flight testing and certification. The Tejas Mark 1A prototype conducted its first flight in May 2022 with the Israeli LM-2052 Acer radar and all of the advanced sensors and avionics, but HAL has not yet completed all certification trials with the reworked systems. HAL must also complete the delivery of all 18 Tejas trainer jets first, before beginning deliveries of 73 single-seater Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The Prime Minister's office held a meeting with the head of the Audio Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics, and came hard on shifting schedule in the indigenous fighter jets program specifically Tejas Mark II and AMCA program, without which the fighter squadron's levels will be 12 squadron less than sanctioned strength. The Prime Minister's office have asked the stakeholders to ensure that the Tejas Mark II enters production by 2028 which was assured to Prime Minister's office by the stakeholders while getting CCS clearance of 6,500 crore rupees. Greece will host the Air Archos 2023 air exercise this month, in which the Indian Air Force will participate with five Su-30 aircraft, and other participating countries include US, France, Italy, Jordan and Saudi Arabia. The joint exercise is a sign of increasing India-Greece ties, and will also be a good learning experience for the Indian Air Force, as it will provide an opportunity to test the Su-30 against the F-16, F-15 and Rafale fighter jets of the participating air forces.